Well, hello there, friends. This is Bob Decker, tarot card reader and certified clinical hypnotist. And today's date is January the 21st of 2010. And I have a guest today. I have my friend Rika. Hi. How are you? Rika's a wonderful lady. She's written a book called Emotional Healing with the Angels. And she does some really cool workshops here at the Griffin's Loft. And we're going to talk to her a little bit about that today before we part. Let's go ahead and do the reading, okay? The first card I have here is a card of the recent past. Now, this card is a seven of discs. And this is the energy that we are coming out of right now. Now, this man has planted his fruit. He's grown his tree. He's entitled to it, but he's not picking it. He's holding himself back. Now this is attributed to Saturn and Taurus. So in some senses, we're getting stuck. We're potentially holding ourselves back and just getting to where we're so rooted, we're not moving. Okay, and that's not a particularly good place to be. If you're doing okay right now, fine. But if you feel like you're stuck, you're not alone. But we're going to be fighting our way out of that. The next card is exactly that. The energy we're coming into is the energy of the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands is attributed to Mars and Leo. As we see, this individual is having a hard time. There's six guys trying to beat his butt with sticks, but it's not happening. He's standing above them, he's fighting them off, but oh my God, what a lot of energy that is. Very, very tiresome situation. So we're struggling, perhaps, we're trying to get out of a rut, trying to move ourselves forward and overcome inertia. But we are going to be doing that. At the end of this week, we come into the Four of Cups, Moon in Cancer. And it's like, for one thing, energy start to flow more smoothly. That's the nature of water, to let things flow. But more importantly, if you see the picture on the card, you can see the man is in a contemplative stance. He's got three cups. A hand is trying to offer him even more, but he's not noticing it, any of it. Okay, So it's a matter, too, of changing our perspective and realizing in some ways we already have what we need and we don't have to struggle. Because the universe, if we trust it, really does provide what we really, truly have to need. We just need to steer ourselves along in the right direction. But we're going to be doing that. Moon in Cancer is more sensitivity. It's better psychic sense. It's just a sense of everything flowing in our lives the way that it's supposed to. So we've got some pleasant energies coming up. And I know Rika has a, a pleasant and powerful workshop coming up here very shortly. Go ahead and talk to us a little bit about that, Rika. Thank you. Well, I'll talk about the Crystal and Indigo Children's Workshop. That yes. is coming, uh, well, it's kind of class. Um, it's, it's every second, uh, every two, uh, twice a twice a month, every first first Saturday and the last uh, and the third Saturday of the month. Okay, the first and the third Saturday. Saturdays, yes. Okay. So this this Saturday is actually Crystal and um, Indigo Children's class. Uh, these Crystal Children's are very very uh, powerful kids. They they are coming from a very high uh, collective consciousness and from the very high and the and they're very wise. Um, they're already connected to the divine. Us, as indigo, we build up, we work up to this level of awareness. So we are the indigo type. And okay. these crystal children are already crystallized in their soul, and they're already connected. All I do is, first of all, just get them to um, uh, connect with their angels, and everybody gets their angel's name. Right away, they'll tell me what their angel's name is, and their connection is so deep. Uh, they can just close their eyes, and they'll start giving me messages. I say, what, what, is, um, what is your angel saying? And, and funny thing is, these kids have the name, their angel's name, like Angelina, Caitlin, all these nice uh, names. They're not like Archangel Michael or whatever we call them. Uh -huh. But they're all connected to the same angel energy, and they get beautiful messages, and they, they can see. They guide them. They help them. Um, so first of all, they, they get connected with their angels, and then the angels help them. Everyday situation, guidance, wisdom, and everything, and they they just blossom. In my class, uh, the children start to see things right away. They one of the girls, she was 11 year old last class that I had. She was keep seeing Jesus all over the class because this is basically Jesus class. 
and uh, he loved children and he he's the one who organized uh, who gave me the outline how to run the class so that's how I do it yeah. wonderful wonderful and what about indigo children what does that term mean it's, it's, it's used a lot nowadays yes uh, uh, but nowadays there are other children they are using other names like blue ray children and the um, rainbow children uh, these are all just the names I would sleep uh, the indigo ones as I said we build up to crystalline our soul to be connected to divine uh, as we work through it we we were we were connected but we did not know these children already know but these are kids that are often mislabeled right like they're yeah. labeled Hi ADHD mm -hmm. hyperactive disorder or something Absolutely. along those lines yeah. or considered developmentally challenged mm -hmm. But they're not. They're very, very deeply connected with the divine. They're very wise. And so they, they find that they're too smart for what, what they are receiving at school. So they get bored easily. Okay, so if you're a parent and you've got a child that's having those kind of issues, this workshop very well may be very, very helpful to them. Uh, now, I know you said it's the first and the third Saturday right. of every month now. It's going to be an ongoing workshop. It's going to be ongoing. And uh, is there a charge for the workshop? Yeah, ten dollars per child, and okay. parents accompany them. Okay, ten dollars yeah. per child, and the parents come for free. Yeah. Excellent. So excellent. Yeah, and then I'm having another workshop, uh, which is uh, February sixth, the Saturday, uh, okay. about auricular medicine. That is also with uh, chronic pain or any kind of um, disorder, like a pain, painful condition that hasn't been uh, releasing. It could have been, you could have been injured in your childhood and then uh, everywhere else you're showing the pain because uh, the, the um, messages from brain gets distorted and not sending, the energy is not free. It is also energy work, basically. It's done in the ear and the pressure point. And then you get the, um, it's called auricular medicine because you got the uh, medicine in your ear that pressure point I put a little crystal there and with the tape and then you just press and release and energy releases so process continue for another week or so until your all pain is gone. Usually one treatment has done wonders. So one, it's like a pressure point thing yeah. with mm -hmm. the outside of the ear. Ex absolutely outside. Yeah. Okay and what time is that workshop going to be? I think it's uh, 4.30 to 5.30, one hour, and there is $30. Now, I usually one treatment that I do is for $60, but with the for a workshop, I'm only charging them $30, and everybody receives uh, an, a tr treatment. Well, that's a good deal then. Yeah, it's very that's good. That's a deal. very good deal. And I'm sorry, what time was the one for the Indigo and Christian Crystal children? Oh, it's always one, one, 1 in the afternoon to 2, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. 1 to 2 p.m., yes. twice a month. First and third Saturday of each every yes. month, one to two p.m. Mm -hmm. and ten dollars for each child. Right, and they also bring their notebook and the pencil because they all be writing. They all draw their their angels. Um, they all draw beautiful angels what they see because they they see constantly. They see things, so I always get them, and then I give them prayer uh, depending what age the child is. Uh, I modify the prayer according to their words. And so they will be writing in their own words, as I'm saying. So they need to bring their, uh, the book and the pen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, Rika, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for having me today. And My pleasure. And we want to thank you so much for tuning in to Bob's Blazing Tarot Blog. It's always a pleasure doing this. We have a lot of fun here at the Griffins Loft here in Davie, Florida. And to learn more about our loft, that's www.griffinsloft.com. Okay, friends, until we meet again, many, many blessings.